Victor, I'm here with a new paint and talk on white line painting the Canon S Viridian, or we'll start painting the Canon S Viridian. I would like to talk about the topic of the week that is I find a very interesting topic and it's, it's quite important for me because I have some of the uh, mirrors that are in, in our part of this discussion. So this is to talk about the compendium scrolls. First of all, what are these compendium scrolls? These are some uh, are the scrolls that are in the general handbook that are at, are at the uh, at the end of the general handbook that they are like out of print miniatures that you can still use in Age of Sigmar and normally these are uh, from legacy armies from the Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, here we can include Bretonian, here we can include Tom Kings and we also can include um, some of the special characters that were used in the past in Warhammer Fantasy and today are the characters so they are not any more part of the fluff although the, there is like a type of evolution between an Age of Sigmar and the Old World okay so and the discussion is what to do with these um, meters they should be uh, forbidden, we should restrict, we should do like a like in magic different categories where you have um, categories where they are allowed and categories where there's not allowed and yeah and although there is some discussion about that also we have to think that today these are, there are some meters impacted but it can happen that in worship keep making these uh, compendium scrolls bigger and bigger as some meters will go uh, out of print and maybe some meters are not going to be any more uh, interesting for games workshop so yeah and that comes because it, it seems that there was a tournament where they tried to um, forbid these legacy scrolls these, these um, compendium scrolls and the people at the end complained and they decided not to forbid at the end this compendium scrolls, what I think was the right thing to do. Um, so let's talk a little bit about first. We, uh, if you want, uh, well, this uh, this is uh, the topic started by Vince Venturella, and Vince Venturella did his own response, talking and uh, comparing the miniature world uh, to the magic world, and where we have the types and, and all these type of things. But first, I want to make a step back and let's think about. Uh, the miniature. So, what happened in other games, or what we have seen in the history of Warhammer? Uh, there are some armies uh, in the recent history of Warhammer. Not too many armies have disappeared. When they uh, there were two armies that uh, for a while they, they disappeared, and one was relaunched later on by Forge World. That one is the Chaos Dwarfs, and the other one was the uh, Dogs of War. So these are armies that at the end they were disappearing they were not supported anymore by Games Workshop officially Games Workshop they never retired this, um, the, the, them from the from the game they never say that they were illegal indeed there were rules that were you were able to use until 8th edition uh, a little bit outdated and most of the times not worth it to play because the rules were so dated that they were difficult to, to use them and some things were not applicable anymore. I'm talking about the Dogs of War and I know this very well because I had a, a Dogs of War army and I was able to play up to 8th edition. Now with Age of Sigma this was completely, this was even part of the Compendium Scrolls. So I think this is to know that you can keep using your army it's nice and it keeps you engaged and although you cannot maybe you don't want to invest and keep it going with this army because you know that this army is not anymore at the edge or at the front of the of the game uh, it's nice to know that at least you collect an army and you can just keep using with outdated rules and I, I was surprised because even during the 2015 there were tournaments where Dogs of War at least in Belgium were a um, eligible army to play with and on top there were a fun website where they create a new book 
for Dogs of War and they accepted this new this fan book in some of the tournaments, recognizing that this was uh, an army that used to be illegal and get workshop stores stop um, supporting the army. So I think this is the right way to go. Try to keep uh, all miniatures still alive, try to um, give the opportunity to all armies to to be able to be used, to still be able to be used. Okay? So so uh, I think I, I'm going about the, the current legacy armies. Uh, this is an effort that a lot of people have put there, okay? There is a, a, a lot of effort that present a, a lot of, and there is a massive armies out there from some of these uh, legacy, we call it the legacy armies. Uh, there is people with huge um, armies of Britonia. I don't have a huge army, but they have quite an important army of Britonia. And also with Tom of Kings. So I think we should allow these people to keep playing. But I have to recognize that since Age of Sigmar's launch, there is some, some from time to time, some barriers. First, there is people uh, asking you to use um, Rome bases. Uh, they, uh, most, uh, 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 some tournaments. So, if you ask Rome bases, most of these armies are difficult to keep using. Then they say that uh, for Gange Workshop can be an issue because if they are forecasting. Uh, the tournament and in the final there is one of these armies they don't sell these mentors anymore I'm going to make another point here if uh, Gage Workshop is for uh, forecasting uh, a tournament and one of the finalists is using uh, miniatures from other companies because you can do that I think there is orcs in other companies uh, yeah, there is people using on death and there is zombies so what they will do because these miniatures are not sold by them, and maybe the people want these special miniatures that are from other companies. Uh, most likely, Gate Workshop will have a similar miniature, but indeed, they cannot complain, it's not their tournament. And Gate Workshop jumped out of the competitive scene for a long time, so there's a lot of people that have played armies with alternative miniatures, with alternative conversions and miniatures from other uh, companies. So, yeah. I understand they don't sell Bretonians, as if a Bretonian is winning a tournament, the people can get frustrated because they cannot buy Bretonian and maybe they have to go to eBay or they have to go to alternative companies. But the same will happen if I'm using all from another company and it's not directly sold uh, or in sell by Gage Workshop. So, yeah, this is, if, unless it's a, a, a tournament on the Warhammer wall. I think uh, they, they cannot complain on that because everybody is free to use the miniatures they want to represent the, the, the army. So I will put the, this problem at the same level of using miniatures from other companies. So what I want to say here, for me I don't see really the big issue. I, I will allow if I do any, I don't have any inconvenience that the people is using the army they want. I, I really uh, I really support to keep alive the companion schools and I hope and I really expect that Gate Workshop keep them in the general handbook or at least make a statement that if the rule is not updated you can still use the previous version. Okay? I hope this is this is the case. Because you always like to use maybe it's I have Bretonia, maybe I will not use Bretonia uh, in on most of the tournaments, but I like to have rules to use them, because they invest a lot of money, and it's something that I, 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 I love to use from time to time. So, and, you have, and they have created the rules, why not to, not, why to not forbid the rules, right? So, uh, then, creating like in magic types of of um, categories no where you can use some categories you can use the some miniatures and in some categories you you cannot use uh, so where you restrict the type of miniatures that you can use depending on how old they are and from what edition. I really I think that is working very well on magic. 
but I don't think this is a good choice for for what happened. Uh, and on top, I just look in here in Belgium. Up to now, for this year, there is only two tournaments in here in Belgium for Age of Sigma uh, in the scope. And one is the day of my birthday that I, birthday, that I will not be able to go. So on, if on top they put classes, uh, classes of tournament depending on, on what is allowed and what is not allowed, this really will make I think this thing much complex. And the rotation and the amount of uh, yeah, the rotation in the in the war games is not as fast as in the case of the of the um, I would say cars collecting cars. Uh, it's not that easy to prepare a new army. If uh, yeah, if one of your key elements of your army is put out of print and suddenly is not any more valid, it's not that easy to replace this key element. It's, it requires a lot of effort. This means that it's difficult to maintain then your armies and if you uh, and to and and what and I think in workshop they don't want to limit what you want to use. They want you to keep engaged and to keep buying new things without um, closing the doors to the old uh, things. Because I think the point is, if they start forbidding my armies and they make me difficult to play, and they, they and they start being difficult and each time I have to think what to do, it makes the thing complex and, and can cause that I start disengaging from that. Because I don't want any more uh, I feel frustrated because some of my nice painting meters I cannot be used anymore and then I is when you start disengaging, when you cannot use your miniatures in the games. If we compare now to Warhammer 40k, in Warhammer 40k none of the armies since 3rd edition have disappeared. Some armies have been not very competitive or are not very competitive. But none of the armies in 40k, none of the miniatures from 40k have a f a disappeared from the game. This is causing now a, a big complex issue in 40k that they need to clean up a little bit. But so far, Sisters of Battle, that is the army that is the, l the oldest one, it is still there. And, yeah, and I, I don't have any miniature from my collection that I cannot use today. And I st I'm playing since and I talk since third edition. Eh? There is not any miniature that I bought since third edition that I cannot use today. There was periods that they were not straightforward when the chaos demons disappeared from the chaos space marines. But they they were able. Uh, I was able to use them as a lesser demons anyway. They were also greater demons. Then they create the. So, but what I want to say here is in 40k. Against Workshop never completely face out uh, a full army like happened in, in the Companion and they never face out completely uh, I think miniatures so this is why except some special characters that they never had miniatures the only thing that they face that they eliminate from the list they are well I have one example as do as do while bait have disappeared as a character, but they never face out a full army. So some miniatures have this uh, have uh, disappeared, especially the miniatures that they don't have, um, the characters that they don't have miniatures in the past. But a lot, some of them have disappeared because they are not planning to make miniatures for them. And just from Dark Elder, there are some characters that disappear. But character with miniature, I think the only one that comes now to my mind is as well. I don't make. Most likely, I'm missing some. But what I mean is. They tend to keep the rules, even in Warhammer 40k where there is a lot of um, uh, codexes. So, yeah, I think I, I'm rambling too much here. What I, my point here is, um, I would really love that Compendium um, scrolls are still uh, a good option. I really want them to keep uh, being uh, available. Uh, uh, a good choice or I mean, uh, uh, that you can use them on the on, on tournaments 
And on top of that, uh, I hope you, uh, the people, when they do friendly games, they don't start forbidding. Because I like to keep using my Bretonians, I like to keep uh, using uh, some of my armies. And to be fair, I'm not too much into Night Age and I want to keep them, uh, I want to keep using them in Age of Sigmar. That's all. So please leave a comment below and as usual I will put the link to the Vince Venturella video. Sorry this has been a little bit long and not too uh, organized this time. I just wanted to put my thoughts there and maybe they came a little bit mixed. Uh, yeah, as usual, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!